Oi, vad händer? Good morning guys. All right, I'm back for uh, one more tutorial. Uh, we're gonna do the Eximetry 1. Uh, and Kalle is going to do it today. Perfect. Are you worried? I'm worried. You're worried? Yeah, I'm worried. <laughs> and we're gonna teach Kalle today how to uh, set up a video screen in Unreal and Eximetry. And we're also going to uh, make it move. Okay. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited! Yeah! <laughs> but I don't know what to do! <laughs> All right, let's jump in. So I have a simple scene with a tracked cam uh, compound and a small Unreal scene. And what I want to do is to put this on my uh, video screen over here, which shouldn't be that impossible, right? So if we jump into Unreal, the first thing we have to do is to create a video material. And we do that by creating a new material. And we can call this Video Material 2. And jump into that. And we need to create a Texture Parameter 2D. And you need to remember this name. And we're gonna call it Video Texture 2. And then I just apply it to the base color. Uh, and one more trick up the sleeve, I usually do, uh, sometimes I get better uh, better results by changing the, the main material to translucent, which seems to make it more sharp, uh, uh, but a yeah, good, good tip to try. And then I select my monitor and have a look at where we want to put it. So probably we're gonna put it here. So yes, just bounce it over there. Now we have the video material, uh, like so. And then as usual, open the level blueprint. And what you want to do is to create a material instance and then select the asset you want to uh, do an instance of and it's video material two and then you have to go look at the eximetry documents let's see if we can find those it's a great page here you can find all sorts of great information so go to for eximetry uh, de users and then browse down to uh, how to install and work with unreal engine based edition then you scroll all the way down, 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 all the way down. And then you have this little fella. So we need to replicate this. Uh, so after the create dynamic material instance, we need to set the material to the object. So let's set material. And if you don't see what you want, you have to untick this box and then you have set material and you want to drag in the monitor boom and drag it to that one and then you're going to sec select the material no 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 you're going to do it like this Choof. and then we have to see so it's the correct and then we have to go to event tick where we are going to get axisymmetry video and here's where you choose what the pin name is going to be in Eximetry and we will choose it as a video screen maybe that's that's clear enough right and then we have to set texture parameter value and we want to drag the asset to that one and we want to have that one so basic basically what this does is at the beginning of the scene it creates a dynamic material instance which makes it possible for us to uh, uh, change the material during runtime run time. and on every tick we want to get the eximetry video from eximetry and push it to uh, the texture the texture parameter value which is this one so we need to name this video texture 2 somewhere and 
can't remember if we did it, but uh, we need to name it here. Video Texture 2. So that's a quick rundown. Everything is in the Eximetry documentation. Uh, so if you're not sure, uh, go have a look. And let's play this one. And then we need to we need to find where are the stage. It's over here. Nice. So let's move. I move with uh, my right mouse button to move forward and press my left mouse button to rotate. And here we have the texture but we can't see our texture yet and it's because we need to uh, uh, push this chains and then drag our picture and there's our little picture and that's great but uh, what if we would like to move this camera from Aximetry uh, not move this screen from Aximetry that would be pretty neat right so let's jump into Unreal again and stop this one. It's quite easy to do it. Uh, you just need uh, one thing in the level blueprint. And it's during the event tick. You pile on to that uh, chain with uh, set actor transform. Uh, and then we need to bring in the the same monitor again because it's the monitor we want to move and from new transform get asymmetry transformation and maybe we should call this screen transformation and this is what it's going to be called in asymmetry let's compile that one and play again and now we can see the screen is not aligned and if we put the chains again, we have a screen transformation node here, uh, which makes it possible to move it with this one. But usually what I do is add a scene node. Uh, oh, maybe I'm going too fast. So this is how it comes in. But what you want to do is uh, push on, on the upper right corner. So you get the world transform out and drag it to screen transformation. That way you can use the C node to rotate it and move it up and move it closer, maybe like that, and maybe just do it 90 to be square. And that's basically how you do it. And this is really good to be able to move it around uh, when uh, when you're live in the setting, because uh, you always have some goddamn producer telling you can't we have the monitor over there instead and then you can just fix it on the fly and it's fantastic right yeah yeah fantastic fantastic so now we're gonna watch Kali do it uh, uh, okay do we have two hours no I think you're gonna do it in uh, at least 10 minutes yeah, okay thank you <laughs> so in the next one I finally figured out how to use the sequencer node so we can animate the screen from right within Aximetry so that's the next video, be on the lookout for that one. Thank you.